uh, in this video or live stream I want to see whether I can create an application for Canva there's various automations that I want to do in Canva and I thought I'd explore the SDK now I haven't read any of the documentation but I will bring it up for you to see where we're starting so we've got a few different pages that we can explore uh, looks like there might be new SDK we released V2 we got a hello world that we might try we got quick starts SDK I wonder which order we should do this in so we've got setting up the CLI let's just go with this we'll start with this Canva CLI and I've just brought up a terminal window just to check what version of NPM and uh, node was I came across a little bit of documentation saying that you needed at least um, node 20.10 I've got that and npm version 10 I've got 11 so we're good we can just clear this out let's now go and pick this copy command and we'll just uh, install so the latest CLI version of Canva now I have I have a pro version of Canva uh, I think that's all I need to work with this maybe you can use a free version to be honest I'm not sure and we have this and we can do a login apparently so let's just run this and see what we get Canva you're about to log in and we're just going is there more that I can do yep plus okay and we've got a confirmation code so what I'm going to do with that for a second and paste it into the CLI let's just check something okay so this is quite as much longer than what you can see here which is good because I don't really want to give that out and um, I might just turn this off for a second and paste in the confirmation okay now I can bring it back so we'll bring it back and it's all like that and press enter successfully logged in okay groovy so where were we we've done a login allow click allow to grant CLI permission to manage your apps cool copy the confirmation code we've done that run the Canva apps create command to start the app creation process or run the command line with the following optional flags so create a new app cool so what's it saying down here it's saying I uh, can't we got Canva help examples of all components okay let's just do a Canva help and see what this comes up with um, welcome page get a random tip or trick log into the CLI manage your apps or log out it's a pretty simple CLI list which is great um, cool but let's create a new application so we've got these templates you can select one hello world minimal template and what's DAM digital asset management template we could go with that but I want to do the minimal one so let's just pop over to the hello world one which looks like it had the same setup same login but it's just much simpler this is great so just so you're aware if I go to terminal vs code view I've just got a blank area going on here and I'm just going to paste that in and see if we get something new in this folder structure now it's asked me a question uh, who is it for a reviewer from must approve the app for release okay that's cool private only available to members of your team your team's owner it must approve the app for release now this is only a test and no matter what I'm doing I'm deleting it I think but we'll press enter I'm going to go with public who what would you like to call your app um, let's call it Appy Dave my first app you can update its name in the developer portal later okay 
Happy Dave. Happy Dave first. Would you like a repo? Do I want that? I don't think I do. Do I need it? No. Let's go down and press no. Um, would you like the app to have its dependency? Yeah, sure. Um, so it looks like it's gone into here. We've got things being installed right now. Um, utils. Let's have a chance. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Okay. Now I'm not currently using cursor, which would have been more helpful than VS Code, but we'll go with what we've got. Okay, installing dependencies may take a few minutes. Okay, we've got code here. Back end. Great, I wonder while that's going, GPT context, let's just see whether I, let's see whether that we're in the right directory actually. CD, uh, JD, CD into Canva, CD into Appy, uh, sure. Clear this out. GPT context. I just want to see what's going on in here and what follow we got a source directory. Let's just do this for a second. Star dot star. Um, I think that let's see what this comes up with. Okay. Source. Yes. Okay. Great. Got our files here. Um, but we also had this util. So let's just have a quick gander of that as well. Um, that was in this location. And there's all the files. Now this little tool that I've run was one that I wrote myself and it just allows me to grab code. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll just pop in over here and do a uh, rerun it one more time here and paste so this I can get the code if I want the actual code and the tree I can type in both and we'll just paste it in again um, no output okay actually do I just run it like that Okay, so now what we've got is the tree that we were just looking at plus the individual files that we're looking at. So this is the backend create plus the code. And this just keeps repeating down the page. Uh, the reason this can be useful is because I'm using ChatGPT Canvas and or ChatGPT, I should say. And I might want to put all this code into a uh, chat just to see what's going on. But that's not what we're trying to do right now. And it looks like the installation is finished. We're eight minutes in. So let's just make that a bit smaller so we can see more and figure out what is next in all of this. Okay, we've got Hello World. Choose the audience for your app. The process guide share through the remaining settings. Well, it didn't. Did it? I didn't do anything. CD NPM start. Okay, let's we'll just go in there. Yep, which we had down below. Um, we we'll just do NPM start, and we've started something. For instructions on how to set up an app via the developer portal, see the readme. Okay, cool. Now. The setup process, which is over here, says choose the audience for your app. Enter the name of the app. We've got the start. Preview your app. In the app's root directory, start the app. Great. After it starts, the developer URL 
Oh, look at that. We got to develop a URL and preview URL um, are shown in the output. In your app, select. So let's click on this, see what your apps is really saying. Okay, there we go. This was, I don't know what this is. Can I delete this? Can I just go in and edit? And is there a delete? Is there a remove? Um, not that I can see, so we will just, oh, what happens if I go back? Yeah, we're here again. And so I don't know what that is. That's odd. We go into this one and we come back here. Under the configuration, confirm that the development URL front end address matches the address shown. Look, firstly, I'm just going to click on this. It's, uh, where is it? Not that one. Yes, yeah, this one. Let's just copy that information and we'll just open a new window and see what we get. Whoa, so we've got a whole lot of code. Okay. And what's that one? And this is called a preview. Ah, oh, look at that. It's opened up Canva, but I do not see any hello world. Okay, that's, that was, we saw something pop up on the left. But what? Uh, is there an apps area? Let's go to, oh, look at that, apps. My first app. In a short sentence, describe what your app does. An app can do a lot of things. We press open. And it's doing something. To make change, edit the app.tsx. Then close and reopen the app in the editor to Preview. Okay, do something cool. Hey, hello world. So we have tested our very first creation of an app. So this was not a tutorial. This was an exploration. So I didn't know what we were going to get. Um, I don't know what happens if we do it again. We just get it again. That's pretty cool. Uh, open Canva Apps SDA things so this is just going to open up software development kit we saw this earlier we can um close that that's not very relevant and i think we can make a change so which file did it tell me to go and change app.tsx okay where are you there you are hello world how so hello from at happy dave well, we're actually on the Appy Dave Research URL at the moment. Let's just go Appy Dave Research as well. Or we'll hit save. Now, this I do not expect this to work. Did you see what I did? No, you didn't. Sorry, let's just jump over here. I've come up over to the app.tsx. We've got children. I says it's an array, but we'll come back to that. We'll do something cool up here now what do we want vs code plus web i guess let's go with that version do something cool shouldn't ah oh, it does you don't even need to restart the app that just worked lovely move that over here move this over here let's do a different change let's just put a comma in here uh quote oh what am i doing quote comma quote save do something cool okay invalid requests okay children must be a length of one okay so that's not how you do it so learn with Dave okay what else do I want to make changes I don't think I want to do any more I think this I, I consider this our first example so I'll tell you why this came about actually I think it might be important so we'll go to a web view do I also have access to a camera view I do Let, let's look at this for a second because this is the real problem I'm trying to solve today and we might do a few variations of Canva to do this so this morning I was on a 
web call with Alec from Take One Tech, and he's an expert in Ecamm Live. So if you don't know the tool I'm using right now, like if you want to see two of me, you probably don't, um, is Ecamm Live and Stream Deck sort of information going on. And I was talking with, uh, well, Alec was doing a presentation, of course, and one of the things he mentioned was that he has this, um, he gave me a link for this free access to Ecamm Live. Now, I want to do something really interesting with my videos using Ecamm Live. Now, if you want the link to this, the link will be down in the description, but here's what I actually want to do. Um, and that's an affiliate link, okay? So just so you're aware, but obviously it's free, so that's the deal that you're getting at the moment. So he was showing me this um, idea where he had different bullet points, one, two, three, and different animations happening. And I was just doing what he did in Canva uh, manually. So his value, uh, lighting, understanding, exploration. And I went, oh, this is cool, but how do I automate this? And that's why I decided to open up this Hello World. Now, the other variation of that was this one, breaking down barriers, perfectionism, like how do I automate this? Because what I really want to do is take my camera and like move it into like a green screen area with chroma key, something like that, and just have this built automatically for me. Now, um, I'll just undo. To do that, I was going to use Keynote and I've just spent an hour dicking around with Keynote and it didn't work. They're, they're like, the API is so buggy. And I thought, Damn, screw this, I'm gonna jump over to Canva and see how it works. And we are working, well, by the way, are we on a live stream? Let's just run over here. Looks like we're in the middle of the live stream. So we've got our first application running. It's a hello world. We know how to add one element to a canvas and it was a fairly simple process. So I'm going to continue this uh, as a bunch of live streams where I just take it a little bit further by testing each of the individual apps. By the way, I'm Appy Dave. If you want to connect with me and get some guidance, like work one-on-one, -on -one, then come over to theappydave.com and down the bottom of about you can figure out how to connect to me. Anyway, that's the end of this live stream. Have a wonderful day. I will talk to you later.